So, um, well, when you do your paintings, they are abstract, basically, right? Yeah, they're basically abstract, uh, non-objective compositions. Uh-huh. And um, would you say that they're conveying a mood, or do you ha use certain colors, or are you... Well, yeah, I'll set up with a, a certain set of colors I'm going to use, uh, and sometimes I throw in stuff that's out of it, out of that whole vocabulary and, and do something that's completely nutso as far as putting colors together. Uh, but obviously people want to buy certain colors for their homes and uh, I do that and that's, I don't have any qualms about painting that way. Uh -huh. So, oh, so do they give you swatches of colors? And you in do paint in paint? some cases, yeah. Not so much, I don't work with designers that much these days, but uh, I, I paint in Mexico most of the year and I'm working with a specific gallery there and uh, it's pretty much free as to what I want to do. Oh. Uh, if you, when you start shooting photographs or uh, images of the paintings, you'll see a lot of reds and blacks and wild colored combinations that uh, seem to work there. That are in this gallery in Mexico. Yeah, people down there are buying condominiums and putting their these paintings in the in their homes, and they're uh, they want to have something a lot more alive as far as color combinations. Wow, well that's neat. Yeah, and uh, how does the gallery work? Do they pay fifty percent or something? Yeah, they take fifty percent, but the the gallery in Vallarta, uh, Puerto Vallarta, uh, is called the Gallery Café des Artistes, and they feature my work and give me a whole room most of the year. How did you find this, that gallery? Did you just walk in? Or did well, I've been showing in Puerto Vallarta for many years, and uh, that's when I settled on because I thought it was the best one. And uh, they immediately took my work and have been uh, featuring it ever since. And so, but you don't live in Puerto Vallarta? Right? No, I live in a little village called Yalapa, south of Vallarta. You have to get there by boat. It's very primitive. I own a little gallery there and have a studio. And that's only open in season when I'm there. I'm in, in Mexico six or seven months out of the year, and then back here in Santa Cruz for five or six. Wow. Well, when you take the paintings to this gallery in Puerto Vallarta, do you put them on a boat? I have to take them on a boat, and it's, uh, I have to pay extra money for that. And it's a small panga, so it's a little, uh, it's a little crazy with the uh, people that are riding the boat and then me with my big paintings. It looks a little funny coming down the coast. I know. I can imagine, you know, people carrying cargo like bananas or iguanas, and then there's your paintings, and yeah. yeah. Well, it has to be a bigger boat, doesn't it? No, it's. They the, have some tiny boats. That well, these are about 30 feet long. Oh. And they're passenger boats, but they're originally built for fishing. So, where's your house in Yalapa? It sits uh, at the mouth of the uh, Tuito River and uh, it has about a half an acre of garden uh, that's garden from the jungle and in rainy season it has two waterfalls and then there's jungle in back of it and beach in front and the ocean. So would you say that living in Yalapa and seeing all the jungle plants around you, would you say that influences your not a, your a, Abstract uh, yeah, but it's a subconscious thing. I, it's nothing I really play with. I'll sit down and do some tropical landscapes, but uh, or florals that have a tropical feeling to them. But most of most of my work is pretty much non-objective collage. Wow. Well, I mean, a lot of artists, if they did non-objective, they 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 there's a stream of consciousness thing that happens. I mean, a lot of artists they w they wouldn't know what to do like. They, they wouldn't even know where to begin. They're well, that's a, that's the thing. I just begin. I don't th I don't think about it. If I have to think about it, it's not going to work. And then I lay out some paint and then see what's happening. And if it's developing into a, a complete non-objective, I'll follow that. If it de develops into a landscape, it'll do that. But uh, to sit down and really try to paint something.